ladies and gentlemen, in the year 2014, a named Italian man was found to have dextrocardia. Welcome to this channel. My name is Sarin. Let's learn some anatomy and look at some medical terms before we look at this interesting cat. Allow me to bring you to myself. It's your favorite Dr. Harry. Normally your heart is positioned on the left with the apex also facing on the left. I want you to position your hand on your pectoralis major muscle. Do you feel something beating? Dab, 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 dab. That's your heart. So if you can't feel anything, don't be worried. Don't be scared. You have the heart. That's why you are watching this video. And the absence of a heart is incompatible with life. That you are alive means that you have a heart. So the heart has a major blood vessels that bring blood in and out of the heart. The vena cava, there's a superior and a inferior vena cava that drain blood from the whole body into the uh, right atria. The blood is then pumped into the right ventricle, then pumped to the pulmonary artery that branches into two and pumps our deoxygenated blood into the lungs to be oxygenated. Now from the lungs, blood rich in oxygen is brought back to the left atrium by the four pulmonary veins, two from the right lung and two from the left lung. Blood is then pumped into the left ventricle, which has thicker muscles, which are enable it to pump blood to the rest of the body by the outer. There's a reason why I wanted you to understand this before we get to our case so that uh, you won't get lost. So the normal positioning of our organs, the human body, especially the uh, organs in the chest cavity and the abdominal cavity, is known as Cytus solitus. Let me not get you lost. I'll type the name for you, Cytus solitus. And in some people, these organs are mirrored or reversed to the opposite side from the normal position where they're usually located. We call this uh, Cytus inversus. Let's say the organs that are located on the left, they are found on the right, and the organs that are supposed to be on the right, they are found on the left. For example, the liver. In these people, you'll find that uh, the liver is supposed to be on the right, but you'll find the liver on the left side. But don't be scared. This doesn't cause problems. The organs will work normally. They will just work normally the way a normal person's organs will work. So this doesn't cause a problem at all. And rarely we have a uh, situs ambiguous. This is where the organs are distributed abnormally in the chest or within the chest cavity and the abdominal cavity. This is where you should be scared because this one is incompatible with life. All these conditions are congenital, which means that uh, they occur during the process of birth. Now I hope you won't be surprised if I tell you that uh, there are some people who have uh, their heart located on the right side instead of uh, the left side, a condition we call dextrocardia. So during the early weeks of our development, a baby's heart may form, and sometimes it may turn to the right for unclear reasons. So when it happens, the lungs also are mirrored, and the liver that is supposed to be on the right will now be located on the left. These people normally have uh, a problem with their cilia, a condition we call uh, Cartagena syndrome. I hope you remember this from uh, Cartagena Colombia. Cartagena Colombia, does it work? I'll spell it for you anyway, anything that works for you. While you may think that uh, this is the only reason a person can have dextrocardia. You remember the Italian man I told you in the beginning of this presentation? This guy was involved in a motorcycle accident, so he was rushed to the hospital. And doctors realized unusual symptoms. They couldn't feel his heartbeat. So the heart was not right at the right side. He had shifted to the right side. I hope I'm not confusing you. What I mean is that uh, the heart couldn't be located in the left side. Instead, it had uh, deviated to the right side. It wasn't on the left side, which is the normal positioning of the heart. He wasn't born this way, no. Prior to the accident, the patient heart was uh, on the correct side, which is the left side. The heart in his chest cavity to the right, together with the pulmonary artery, pulmonary vein, outer, and all blood pumping essentials. So what happened in this case? That's the question you're asking yourself. A few months ago, I made a video entitled, What happens when air leaks out of your lungs? And I talked about a condition called attention pneumothorax. And one of the complications I mentioned is that uh, once it occurs, there will be shifting of our mediastinal structures to the opposite side. But with the treatment, the organs will return to their normal position. So this man was not an exception. So after treatment, the heart returned to the normal position, which is the left side, together with all blood pumping essentials. And the surprising thing is that uh, he never lost his consciousness. 
He might be the only man who can tell us how it feels when your heart decides to relocate.